Hello guys, I am back with another video on congenital heart abnormalities and this is the part 2 of that video. Please do check it, check the part 1 of this video. As always, I have got a question for you guys. Um, which of the following is associated with the maternal diabetes? Is it co coarctation of aorta? Is it ASG? It is, is it PDA or is it transposition of great vessels? Pause and try, try to answer this question. So guys, in my previous tutorial, I talked about the ASG, VSG, PDA and the Petrology of Alert. In this, in this tutorial, I shall be covering transposition, transposition of great vessels, tricuspid atresia, bronchus arterius and coarctation of aorta. So let us begin. Transposition of great vessels. So as we all know that we have only two great vessels in our body. Those are the aorta and the pulmonary artery. Okay. So normally the the aorta it it arises from the left ventricle and the pulmonary artery it it arises from the right ventricle. But in this case it is reversed. The pulmonary artery arises from the left ventricle and the uh, this um. Aorta it, it arises from the right ventricle. Okay. So and it is associated with the maternal diabetes. Okay, this is very high yield. You should remember this one. Okay. And it presents early cyanosis, pulmonary and and, and systemic circuit do, do not mix. Okay. So uh so 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 uh, the treatment is very important in this case uh, as the body does not get, get enough oxygen to survive so so uh, creation of a shunt allowing blood to mix okay after birth is required for for survival and the pge you know the pge keeps the patent ductus arteriosus intact okay so pge can be administered uh, what is the full form of pge it is prostaglandin e okay pge can be administered to maintain the pda until definitive surgical repair is performed okay and it it causes hypertrophy of, of right ventricle and atrophy of, of left ventricle okay so this is about the transposition of great vessels now bronchus arteriosus so what happens in this case is that the is that there is a failure failure of a of a separation of the of the aorta and the pulmonary artery okay so what happens that is that it is it is characterized by single large vessel arising from both ventricles the trunk the trunk that is supposed to divide into aorta and pulmonary artery it does not divide and therefore it causes early cyanosis okay and it presents with early cyanosis the oxygen oxygenated blood from right ventricle mixes with the with the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle before pulmonary and aortic circulation is affected okay now tricuspid atresia so yeah uh, you know that the tricuspid valve is pre is present between the right atrium and the right ventricle okay so and th this this uh, um, valve it uh, it uh, it keeps the blood uh, from mixing uh, from the uh, right ventricle to the uh, to the red atrium okay so in this case what happened that there is a that, that there is there is not a well developed tricuspid valve okay so tricuspid valve orifice for fails to develop okay and, and as a result right ventricle is hypo hypoplastic okay and it is often associated with a asd uh, resulting in right to left shunt presenting with early sonosis. Okay. Now coming to the coarctation of the aorta. So it is basically the narrowing of the aorta, and it is again classified into into two forms: infantile and the adult form. Infantile form is associated with the PDA. PDA means patent ductus arteriosus. Okay, and the co co and the narrowing lies after after 
to the aortic arch but before proximal to, to the PDA okay so uh, I will give you a reference so so if this is the aorta okay and this is the PDA okay so th these are the vessels which come from the aorta this is the left uh, brachiocephalic trunk left subclavian and left carotid um, and the left subclavian and here is the coarctation okay where it is it is here okay and this is the line joining the PDA and the aorta okay so this is the aorta this, this full thing is the aorta ah okay and this is the th these are the vessels uh, which come from the aorta first uh, we have the brachiocephalic trunk then we then we have got the um then this uh, left carotid and then the left subclavian and here here we have got the coarctation narrowing okay here here okay and this is the pda this is the pulmonary artery pa okay pulmonary artery and this is the pda which is connecting the uh, pulmonary artery and the aorta okay so this is so this is what i am trying to say okay and it presents as as the lower estimate cyanosis now why 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 does the, the this causes the only lower estimate cyanosis okay so you can find the answer in in the diagram shown so guys see um narrowing is here okay narrowing is here so all the oxygen rich blood will go to the uh, upper limb and the head and neck part okay it won't go to it won't go to the left to the lower extremity causing the cyanosis okay and and it is often associated with terminal syndrome okay this is very high yield guys you should uh, you should remember this one okay now adult form of the quark of the coarctation of aorta so adult form um it is not associated with PDA, okay. And coagulation lies distal to the aortic arch, okay. So this is the um yeah. So so see, this is the aorta, okay. This is the pulmonary artery, okay. These are the vessels coming from the aorta. The vessels, you know this, right? Okay. This this is the aorta, okay. This is the pulmonary artery and here we have got the coagulation okay here is the coagulation i will tick tick, tick this Fuck. yeah okay so this whole black thing is the coagulation okay which means narrowing okay so what will happen that the um that the, that the blood which is going to the upper limb and head and neck uh, will be oxygen rich okay and and there will be high high pressure in the upper limb and the head and neck so so uh, when we measure the pulse in the upper limb versus the pulse in the lower limb we we will find that the pulse in the upper limb will be high which we call hypertension and pulse in the in the lower limb will be low which we call hypertension okay so uh, so it pre it presents as a hypertension in the upper extremity and hypertension in the with weak pulse in the lower extremity. Okay, classically discovered in adulthood. Okay, okay, and collateral collateral circulation develops across the intercostal arteries. Angle blood arteries cause notching of the ribs on X-ray. Okay, and is and it is associated with the bicuspid aortic valve. Okay, so that's it for today. Which of the following is associated with mental diabetes? So, what is the answer, guys? Tell me. Hmm. I know you know. Okay. So the answer is fourth one. Transposition of great vessels. Okay. So, thank you, guys, and bye.